Hello and welcome to Doggers Park. And uh, this video is a travel journal of Musa. Musa is a male Rottweiler and he's two years old. And this travel was from Noida to Tala village. Tala village is in uh, Uttarakhand district. I'm sorry, Uttarakhand state. And it's in the Pithoragar district. It was a 419 kilometers drive from Noida. And initially we thought that we would be able to cover this journey in uh, nine and a half hours. However, it took us more than 13 hours to travel, uh, to complete the journey. We started uh, on Sunday around 8.15, 8.30 in the morning from Noida and reached our destination in Tala village uh, at around 9.30 at night. And uh, Arkada, he mm -hmm. drove us all the way through single-handedly. He drove off the entire 419, 20 kilometers with uh, multiple stops. So could you share the experience, what kind of experience it was driving for 13 hours? Yeah, it was, uh, I think it's, it's the first time that <coughs> we took the decision to travel through. Uh, generally, we give a stop in between because it's not always advisory to travel uh, long long hours with your pet. But then Musa is a veteran now. He has been uh, our you know, companion for, <coughs> what, like four, five, five, six, seven trips, trips hills, actually yeah. on the hills. So he's a pro and he knows how to handle it. So we took the decision to you know, go ahead. Because it's initially it was showing like a nine and a half hours, as you said, yeah. Uh, but due to the you know bad weather, incessant rainfall, uh, you know the roads were you know locked in Rishikesh, locked yeah, and yeah, Rishikesh. It was traffic, and uh, it was it's always advisory to drive slow in the mountains. Obviously, yes. for uh, the roads were not good. Uh, Especially no, if it's raining. Yeah, we can see that like landslides happening yeah. in front of our eyes. Yeah, so, several uh, <coughs> places we have seen that the you know uh, the, uh, the stones, stones that are falling, falling from, from the, the mountains, mountains and uh, landslides happen because of the yeah, rainfall. You never know when one hits you, so obviously it's uh, better to have a you know precautions. Uh, but uh, the good thing is we uh, you know uh, did it through. Uh, yeah. Musa did well with a couple of stops. Yeah, uh, more was, than a couple of stops actually. Yeah. And uh, eventually we reached at around 9.30 yeah, uh, in, in the night, uh, which is around uh, 13 and a half to 14 hours uh, total travel time. So, yeah, but we reached safe, yeah. uh, we reached healthy, and uh, that, that's, that's the best part of it. That, yeah, that's what, how, how much toll it takes on the body, like if you have to drive for around 13 uh, kilometers? If somebody is a novice, is new, uh, would you advise going on such a... You know, no, obviously it's not advisory to, you uh, know, uh, uh, for someone who is not used to it, who is not uh, no experienced in driving in the mountains to uh, travel for such long hours, especially when it gets dark. Uh, it obviously takes some experience uh, uh, beforehand uh, that you have done it before. Right. So obviously it's not advisory. Uh, one should not do it. Uh, but if you, if, you, if you are doing it regularly, then it, it becomes yes. easy for you, you know. Uh, but always I will, you know, uh, caution and uh, uh, that's what we said. We yeah. reached safe. Reached and, safe. Uh, it's better uh, to reach <laughs> late than never. They say, you know, you'll see the government has put this uh, placards all over the road that uh, better to reach. Once we started off from Noida at 8.30, first of all we stopped uh, near Mujaffarnagar. It was uh, 60 kilometers from Noida and uh, we stopped there actually because we found a really nice place for Musa to stretch his arms and it's very important when you travel with pets, you know, that you give a stop after 3-4 hours for them for pee intervals and also to stretch their le legs a bit. They're not like humans, so they find it difficult to travel. Yeah, they need a bit of space. Huh? Yeah, that's the reason we first uh, stopped there. And uh, next, I think we stopped in uh, McDonald's. It's a it's our regular one. We yeah. go uh, to the drive through of drive. McDonald's and uh, have our regular burgers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Musa loves French fries, <laughs> but unfortunately this time there French was no fries French fries not available because we reached uh, before eleven. I yeah. think. Uh, yeah. So that's some uh, that's a point to note if you reach before eleven. French fries not available. In the Mujafunagar uh, <laughs> Mc <laughs> McDonald's, French fries you will not, not get available. French fries. And. Uh, yeah, the next stop I think we took Rishikesh. at uh, Rishikesh. Yeah. Rishikesh uh, also we found a nice place for Musa to stretch his legs. It was an abandoned football ground. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And he loved it exploring. Uh, they get new scent, new smell, new territory if they uh, can uh, explore. They, uh, you know, it's very 
it's a kind of a very good feeling for them. Then obviously we got stuck in the traffic in uh, Missouri like for a couple of hours. Couple of hours, yeah. we lost there. And then once we left that, we we didn't we, stop anymore. We, no, once we, we stopped yeah. for refueling. We, we yeah. refueled, yeah, uh, refueled. just uh, after leaving um, uh, Rishikesh. Rishikesh, yes. Uh, then we obviously gave a couple of uh, stops here and there to take Musa for some stretching and yeah. for regular pee intervals. Other than that, we did not give any stops. And uh, eventually we reached at 9.30, 9.30 as we said. Yes. Yeah. 9.30 we reached and it was very tired. So we mm -hmm. just had our dinner and off to bed for the day. Yeah, it, we were very tired after 14 hours long drive, <laughs> obviously. So we all had our dinner and went to bed, yeah. Okay. So it's been an hour and we have covered 60 kilometers from Noida. And this was a really a nice place for uh, Musa to uh, get down for his pee interval. So we just got down here and he's almost done. So we'll be commencing our journey from here. We have been uh, driving for a couple of hours now and uh, we have reached Mujaffarnagar and we have covered 100 kilometers. And actually we're waiting at a drive through in McDonald's to have our uh, veg meals. And after that we are going to commence our journey. We are just receiving the order in the McDonald's drive through That's the order being given. Musa, there's no food for you. We have collected our orders, so we are going to receive your journey from now. And our next stop will be Haridwar, which is around 90 kilometers from here. I'll try to show you the Haridwar city. It's a legendary city. And in ancient India, it was called Mayapuri. Let's explore. So we are uh, crossing the holy city of Haridwar, and Musa is enjoying the view. It's a very beautiful view. Uh, you can see the ghats as well as the mountains. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and uh, we have uh, reached Rishikesh and we again found a nice location for Musa to stretch his uh, legs. And it's been, uh, we have been driving for around like five hours now. So this is a nice place and uh, you can see the mountains. We have already started. It's six hours from here to Tala village where we are going to uh, stay for the night. 